the winners of the past eras are not guaranteed a spot in the next generation of the next technology era. We've seen it in the mainframe era, in the 50s, 60s, the PC era, and then we move to the mobile era, the cloud era, and now probably very early innings in the Gen AI era. The commonality for companies that participate in these technology shifts throughout these eras, you can roughly group them into one of three buckets. The first bucket is the enablers. These are the pick and shovel plays. They provide the hardware, uh, the infrastructure that's required uh, for the entire technology to run on. Your mega tech companies like your NVIDIA, Broadcom, uh, maybe TSMC, that are uh, perceived winners of this Gen AI era in the early innings. In the middle, you have the networks, uh, the companies that diffuse and cascade these technologies to the masses and improve the adoption of, uh, of that particular technology. As the technology progresses, the networks will start to uh, extract more value and gain more of that bargaining power because you need them to diffuse the technology to the masses, to enterprises and to consumers. And finally, finally, you need the innovators to be able to uh, really make the most profit such that it can feed the, 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 the money or, or the value down the chain to the networks and the enablers. You need each level and each layer of these um, of the stack to be profitable for the entire era and the generation of technology to work. Mm -hmm.